What's up everybody, Mr. Dude here, and welcome back to FS17 uh, Let's Play Season 1. Uh, this is the second episode, and we are here in Shosnovskia. Alright, um, so we went ahead and kind of did some of the field work and things um, kind of ahead of time, and I think we may be ready to uh, kind of explore and see what we can get at the store maybe, perhaps. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a quick peek at some things. So looking at the store here, um, there are no cells. Um, and trying to figure out what we need to do uh, to get, we probably should get a sprayer uh, of some sort to fertilize our crops. Um, so let's go back over here. Uh, sprayers. Uh, spreader. So we, we could do a spreader. And so we can get this nerve land. Um, spreader for fairly cheap. Um, there's this bread all that's got twice the working capacity or the capacity. So this nerve land should suit our purposes. So we'll go ahead and select that and buy that. Yes, we will buy that. Yes. Um, and then also, let's do some investigating because I want to see if we can get into some beats. Um, now, obviously this Homer is going to be quite a bit out of our reach. Um, and yeah, this stuff here is kind of out of our price range. But uh, see, this needs the HR9, so you're talking... Uh, $560,000, somewhere around there, $570,000. Um, this rooster might be more our speed, and then you've got this Grimmy here, but we don't have enough of a tractor. 75 horsepower, but this needs 134. So you, pre you need a pretty good tractor to really get into this stuff. Um, now, uh, going into this menu here, we're talking about, okay, what can we do to get into cows all right so uh, let's go through here okay uh, um, do I I don't even know um, all right we'll keep going okay so cows all right so uh, we need to feed them grass hay is some sort of power food okay um, the power food is the uh, kind of like the TMR now you can kind of do some reduced productivity um, and kind of go from there um, sheep are cheap but the cow area is closer so I really want to get into this this power food is kind of what I'm like what what is power food I'm pretty sure it's that that mixed ration stuff um so you but you have to um, either have hay or silage um, now the silo is right over there or the uh, the silage area I don't know what it's officially called but it is right over there um, so I suppose we could do that but honestly everything is kind of planted right now um, and we'll go back into our what do we have in storage here so we've got some sunflowers some soybeans we got a little bit of everything so we got enough to kind of get started um, I really don't know enough about the um, See, and the issue, uh, I'm all over the place, but here's the issue, okay? So, uh, there's, this is the trailer used to transport animals. So this is what you need to transport the animals back and forth. This here takes straw bales and uses them to cover the ground. Um, so you kind of need that, and then you need this, uh, and this is what makes your, and this, this, this is a bigger one. So a forage mixer wagon mixes hay and straw bales together into a mixture that can be fed to cows. 
So you can use this to kind of do its own thing, or you could buy one of these, and it's not self-propelled. You need an 85 horsepower motor in order to do that. Problem being um, that you have to, so that's 41,000. This is another 25,000, and then this is another 24,000. Now, if you can get into this, you can lease this uh, for an initial cost of 2,700. Um, you know, so once you start getting into some money, you could. But honestly, I think being able to do the chores um, for other farmers is probably going to be our best bet. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Now, there's different ways to uh, get to the work site. Uh, initially, when I first bought the game, I thought, well, um, I need to go ahead and... Um, drive there but honestly you don't so you hit the escape to get into your uh, PDA here and you can kind of look and see you know the entire map uh, here in Shoshinovska uh, I, I feel like I have to say it that way Shoshinovska now if you want to highlight different types of fields you just kind of click that all right are there any grass oh, look at nope, nope there's all your grass grass crop all over the place um, uh, but what I'm really interested is to see any oil seed radish. No, no oil seed radish Potatoes, okay, so if you want to work potatoes for example, right field 25 and 16 are potato fields So you can say okay Let's visit and you can literally visit the potato field So here is the field the potato field and then what you do is you hit the R, R key um, if you're using the uh, call it the factory presets. Um, hit the R key. Uh, no mission available. Uh, he's friend of ours, but no mission. Okay. So hit the escape button again. I really want to get into some potatoes, and I know I haven't done a. I have not done a mission on field 16. So let's visit field 16. Do the same thing. Looks like uh, it's got a spraying job for us. I'm going to guess. Um, so let's hit R. Uh, and so then basically what happens uh, during a mission screen is time is money blah 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 tells you how much it's gonna pay you um, and how long it's gonna take so this is what we are going to do we're gonna go ahead and take this mission so then you hit start if you hit buy you're opting to buy the field uh, so we're gonna start this mission uh, and it's gonna give us the equipment that we need to uh, do the job now I need to do something on my settings because I had turned it down yesterday um, let's save that and go back and there we go that Mackie's Massey Ferguson sounds pretty good this is the Massey Ferguson uh, 7719 affectionately called the drop nose uh, you can go inside here I do like the way that sounds okay now I am driving using the steering wheel today or not the steering wheel the uh, keyboard but I'm still using my pedals which is kind of cool and I'm still using drive control all right, we got the weight put on. Okay, so it gives you time limit. So if you look at the upper right of the screen, uh, the time has been replaced with a mission timer. Um, and so it says you have five minutes and 30 seconds to get this done. All right, we are hooked up. I'm gonna do this from an external view. Uh, the great thing about it too is that you are not gonna run out of product. This is going to basically spew out product and you do not have to worry about running empty you are going to be able to complete the mission so while we're spraying I'm just gonna go ahead and admire the textures and see what that kind of looks like in the animation there I was just kind of spraying that all over the place um, So yeah, so basically, you know, you kind of have to 
do some chores at first in single player um, in order to uh, kind of build enough money to do some other things. Um, what's miserable about it is the fact that this is going to even on normal settings it's going to take you a little bit to get going I think once uh, once you do get going um, oops yeah we'll just do it from there kind of hard to I can never drive it in a straight line I'm awful at field work but anyways, that's kind of how the mission screen works and how the missions work. And then and, and the other thing you have to realize, too, is that you have to make sure that you have time to actually complete the mission before you think you're going to quit the game because it's not going to let you quit the game while you're in mission I mean I take I stand corrected it'll let you quit but it's not gonna save your progress on the mission it just basically resets your stuff so if you don't want to reset your mission then you are going to have to complete it before you log off so make sure you have time to do it now as we complete the mission obviously the timer comes down and in addition to that you get a mission completion per pie chart um, so as you do more and more of the required mission, uh, the pie chart will continue to fill out. Um, based on the percentage of the mission that you have completed. And once you complete the mission, as you would assume, you would get paid. So. We should be very close to finishing the mission. It should be happening shortly. There we go. We have finished the, mes uh, the mission. Uh, so it gave us uh, 2,600 euros. And we got another 600 euros for a time bonus. Um, so if you get right to work, you typically get a nice little bonus. And that is kind of how you can work your income. But what the heck? I'm down here. So you can tap back to a vehicle. Or you can uh, basically use a free transportation to kind of go anywhere on the map. Um, so if it's like, oh, I just want to check out. Uh, I just want to see what's going on over here at field 32. Yeah, let's visit. And there we are. We're at field 32. Looking at some corn, perhaps. So you can kind of see how that works. Um, and then use the menu. Hey, you can spray this and it'll give you some money. And then as you do more missions for the farmer, then what will happen is, is you'll build rapport with the farmer and then ultimately when it's time to buy the field they will sell it to you for cheaper if you have maxed out your rapport that's kind of how that works so uh, that's that uh, let's go ahead and we need to hop into uh, we'll take this one because we do need to get to the store which is, looks like it's behind us. Yep, there we go. So we'll go ahead and go this way and kind of get an impromptu map tour. Um, I want to thank you guys while we're on the way up there for uh, hanging out with me and watching this episode um, if you've not watched the first episode please go ahead and do so uh, give this a big thumbs up if you thought the video suited your needs so I know that I'm moving in the right direction if you want to keep up with things 
on the channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you and if you need those notifications to let you know that I've posted something please go ahead and hit the little bell symbol next to the subscribe button I do appreciate each and every single one of you oh that takes time to uh, watch the videos um, I strive to uh, improve upon the production quality and what I'm doing with it so um, you know by all means uh, my goal is to uh, get okay do I not familiar with this map so yeah my goal is to get to 10,000 views at this point um, so that would be I'm gonna F1 this and see if I need to do something special okay That looks open. So yeah, you drive into the shop in order to pick up your equipment so that's kind of how that works so yeah appreciate you guys uh, watching today um, only thing else that's gonna happen is uh, we're not gonna and we'll, we won't do this on camera off camera I'll do some fertilization um, and then we should be uh, a okay to speed up time to the next growth stage and add some more fertilization um, kind of increase the yield a little bit and then uh, in the meanwhile do some chores for the other farmers so yes I do appreciate you guys hanging out um, please 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 uh, constructive criticisms feedbacks are always welcome uh, you can spend your time doing anything but you spend it with me I do appreciate that so with that being said, I want to thank you guys for tuning in, and we will catch you guys next time.